Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today, as you can see, I am holding a little package from Jackson's. This arrived this morning. I didn't expect it to really arrive actually until next week. So I thought I would jump on here and just kind of show you what I bought. And I also wanted to explain why I bought it. I thought it would be interesting for you. I wasn't planning to do this video, but actually it might be interesting for some of you. So that being said let's get into the package so you can find out what it is that I'm talking about. It's funny little what sits. A little bit it's like past the pattern, isn't it? Ta -da! And here we go, we've got a bottle of magic colour. This is liquid acrylic ink and it's um, quasar black. So this is good, I've been waiting for this. I'll explain to you in a minute what I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to just open up this next package. Ah yes, so in these are So these are postcard pads. They have 12 watercolor postcards. They are 350 GSM watercolour paper and they're from Sea White's Brighton and I'm very familiar with these pads because last year 2020 I did a project every day where I painted a postcard and I used black ink and I basically took 15 minutes to draw a view that was somewhere different so the main aim was for me to draw from what was in front of me and just basically draw every day. The main reason for doing this project was to challenge myself just to draw consistently every day. And because I posted it on social media, I posted it on Instagram, so it kind of kept me accountable and it meant that I did manage to accomplish drawing something every day. Okay, so now that I've kind of told you about that, why am I talking to you about this ink? So I came to the end of this ink at the end of the project last year. I needed to buy some more ink, so I couldn't find this one though anywhere, or they'd run out. And I purchased this one instead. This was Liquitex acrylic ink. It's the same ink both uh, liquid acrylic and this one is is called carbon black so you would think that it's a really dark black but when I came to actually um, drawing some more postcards because I've been requested to buy a local business to draw some more postcards and they would like to make it into a book I needed to start creating that and so when I went to create it this week and I was using this ink I suddenly thought this doesn't look the same so let me show you what I mean so this was the drawing that I did with this ink you can see that it's done with black ink you can see that it's you know got a wash and everything to be honest there's you can look at this and think, well, what, why are you complaining? Why, why, what's the problem? And the problem is, is that this ink is not the same black. It's a lot lighter than the black that I've been used to using. So this box here is my box of postcards that I did last year. 
So I've sold quite a few of these postcards, but obviously there's 366 of them. And so they're all kept here. And you can see, I didn't actually visit the Eiffel Tower, but that was during um, when I was in quarantine and I couldn't go outside. So I drew landscapes from around um, the world. But what I wanted to show you here, and maybe you can see, although I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, that this colour ink is definitely different to this colour ink. Maybe if I put them here you can see. I'm going to tear this out actually. That one is the Liquitex and this one is the Magic Colour. And you can really see there is a difference between the black. This one is a lot lighter and, and that one almost it almost has a bit more of a, a sepia or warmer tinge to it. Whereas this one is a lot darker. I much prefer this ink for what I'm doing and that's purely because I know that I'm going to be scanning this in and I want to make sure that I get some really crisp clean dark lines so I think that's just something to be aware of when you're buying black ink N make sure that you can test it or see it outside of the bottle because otherwise you could be starting a project and then actually realize the ink is, isn't really the right black ink that you want. So I thought I would do a little bit of an experiment because I've, I've got another two inks as well that I use in my fountain pen. I think it would be quite interesting to swatch all of the inks together and see the variation. We're going to use the Speed Dry Magic Colour Liquitex Acrylic Ink and then I've got some Noodler's ink, black Noodler's ink. This is made in the US. And then I've also got the carbon ink, black from Japan. Liquitex, I think that is the US as well. Yeah, I think Liquitex is US as well. And then Speed Dry, UK, made in England. So I'm going to just do a little bit of a swatch for each of these and see what we come up with. The only thing I find with ink that is a little bit of pain is that it does get everywhere and I normally have inky fingers or inky surfaces after using um, ink. Anyway, let's have a look at these now that they are almost dry. And I say almost dry because this Noodler's ink still got a couple of damp spots on it, whereas the others are dry and you would expect that of the liquid acrylic because acrylic is fast drying anyway and in the name this is speed dry so it does dry pretty quickly and I found when I was doing my postcards um, last year that 
all the postcards would dry really fast and that really suited me for what I was doing. I didn't really want to hang around waiting for the postcard to dry, um, especially if the weather wasn't great. And that was another thing was that I could draw in the rain or in damp conditions and it meant that the ink that I was using, it stood up to that. As I suspected, this one, Speed Dry, is definitely, definitely darker than the Liquitex. And you can see that, can't you? Quite clearly. It's not really opaque like the Magic Colour Quasar Black. In fact, it's a little bit similar to the Noodler's ink, especially in the tone of the ink, the colour of the ink. And then the carbon, interestingly, is similar to the magic colour. And I found that, actually, I bought Noodler's ink to begin with for my fountain pen. And I just didn't feel like it was dark enough. It wasn't giving me the really dark lines that I was after. So I purchased the carbon ink. And so now this is my go-to ink that I use in this fountain pen. And it seems to be behaving itself okay. Some people are wary of putting into permanent ink into fountain pens because it can be said to clog up the nib. But I found that I haven't had really any problems and that's why I got the Noodler's ink as well because again that was on the recommendation that it doesn't clog your fountain pen. But I found the carbon ink is, is working fine. Obviously you can see that uh, a white pen with black ink probably isn't the best combo because it gets quite dirty. But it does the job and what I want it to do. So also it's just interesting to look at the inky water. That one's probably darkest. Actually that one, similar to that one. But I can definitely see the tone, the colour tone. These two look very similar in their colour tone. Slightly warmer and then these two look kind of cooler. And then when it comes to the mixing of the ink and the water, these two again are similar and made the water turn black whereas these two are a lot lighter which I think maybe means that there's more water in the ink itself maybe maybe that's why I'm very happy that I did decide just to wait and I ordered in more of the magic colour because this is going to suit the job that I'm doing a lot better than this one is. So I just want to say actually all these inks are meant to be permanent and light fast. So they are different to your regular water soluble ink that you might buy for a pen. And that's um, purposeful. I wanted to have an ink that was permanent, that was fade proof, waterproof and it means then that I can layer on the top and I can put water washes over the top, I can put water soluble washes over the top without the fear of the line disappearing or bleeding. So that's another thing to consider. So those are my thoughts on the different types of ink. Obviously I've just compared the inks that I've had rather than you know this being a a very big review of all the different inks is basically what I've got and I just thought it would be interesting to see the difference between the Liquitex and the Speed Dry and then it actually is interesting to see then between this Noodler's ink and Carbon ink as well. So I hope you found this interesting guys I know it was quite a short one today but if you found it helpful do let me know or let me know in the comments what ink you prefer to use. Maybe you prefer to use a warmer ink or a lighter ink in your work. I know I prefer to have a stronger, darker ink. 